Almazra. Exploring, looting, and securing intel will open access to missions and targets. Expect resistance from local forces, and watch for other operators in the AO. What up, people? It's your boy Stealth Jet back at it once again with some more DMZ gameplay. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I've not played this game in about three and a half weeks. So your boy is kind of rusty, which is why I'm bringing out a pistol and a pistol alone. But that's enough backstory. In this video, I'm going to show you how I plan. You see how I'm staring at the map for like a good five minutes? I'm trying to find out where all the X fills are and then where all the rescue hostage missions are. Because we all know rescuing a hostage is like the easiest way to escape if you can manage to pull it off. Also, in a previous deployment, I managed to escape with a Geiger counter. So this pretty much means the radioactive cash missions are all free. Every one of them. As long as I have this, uh, this counter on me. So, there's that. Also, I get a really good spawn here as well. So, last deployment, I know I keep talking about last deployment, but I got a medium backpack and a two-player armor vest. Well, no. Yeah, a two-player armor vest. So, feels good. And what feels even better is that I get a stronghold key card. Now, I'm saying to myself, which stronghold looks the most attractive? Am I even going to go for a stronghold? That's the question. So here's my plan A. Use this stronghold key card that I got inside its warehouse and loot as many strongholds as possible to get a three plate armor vest if not a large backpack. Then escape using a rescue hostage contract. But before I can get to all that, let me get myself a little bit more money by doing a radioactive cash contract. So here's plan A. Ultra One, that intel shows AQ stashed nuclear material in the AO. Secure that material and get to extraction. Locations are on your TAC map. Actual to Ultra One, you're approaching the target area now. Deploy Geiger counters to locate and secure the material. Actual to Ultra One, we're getting a hit on your Geiger counter. You should be in proximity of a stash. Objective is secure. Move to an HLZ and call for extraction to earn a bonus. Alright, so thanks to this here radioactive cash contract, I realize I got a lot of stuff on me. And you know how you get rid of a lot of stuff. You go to a buy station and you sell all the stuff that you have. Do you hear that? It sounds like a helicopter. Yeah, that's a helicopter. And where there's a helicopter, there's somebody transporting material. So that's a player. At least one player. Okay. And y'all know how I said plan A was to radioactive cash contract and then raid as many strongholds as possible? Well, I want to have a clear backpack before I raid all these strongholds, right? So I'm saying to myself, I need to hit a buy station. But you see that big ass boat right there? Yeah, that's the same guy who was being chased by a helicopter. So, I'm thinking if I was in his shoes, I would go to the bus station that's right there near the gas station. But he doesn't. Instead, he goes that way. So, I wait for him to pass. Then, I hit up the spy station. Now, I don't know if y'all caught it at the very beginning of the video, but I did spot a very nice looking rescue hostage contract at the top of the map in a little desert area. So I'm saying to myself, I'm gonna try that because there's a stronghold near that area. 
But before I can take on any kind of stronghold, I need a strong weapon. That's why I got this 7.62mm battle rifle on my hands right now. So I decided to burn the rest of my cash and buy an LTV. While that's on the way, I'm gonna loot this duffel bag, double take, look at the key and say, I don't need it. Remember at the beginning of the video, there's a contract rescue hostage one up here? Yeah, it's gone now. So, okay, that sucks, but there's another one down here. However, I did just get finished watching VW stream, and that contract down there, it didn't end well. So, let me go ahead and put into phase two of plan A, which is to capture that stronghold. Well, not capture, but clear it out and loot it. So, let's do that. Location, stay alert. That's it. That's all the enemies. So, with this thing cleared out, I'm praying that I find me either a large backpack or a three-plate armor vest. Because, you know, those are things that you want. And you want to get them for free. If you can, because they cost about 30 grand a piece. And, you know, 30 grand is like two radioactive cash contracts. You know what? Speaking of contracts, wait a minute. How am I going to get more money? But also, where is this second box at? Oh, you mean to tell me that this thing is a two-part stronghold? That's crazy. But there's nobody in this part. Again, that's crazy. So, I'm going to play uh, Musical Doors real quick. Close the doors behind me. Now, I check. And you know, there is some good stuff in here. You know what I'm saying? But why would I need another key card, though? Why would I need another key card, game? I'm already in a stronghold. Anyways, I get kind of worried because that pickup truck outside, I thought there are players, but they're not. So as I'm running to the truck, I'm going to put my map and I'm going to ask myself, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do? Well, that radioactive cash contract did put me, as I stare at the map so hard I can't drive, it did put me right next to two strongholds, literally next door to each other. Literally next door to each other. And so I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'ma go for them. I guess I am. So I'ma wait for the train to pass, cross over the railroad tracks, and I believe I'm going to see a tracer round fly up into the sky. And that is gonna make me slow down right about here. I believe. Yep. Shots. And it sounds like somebody's shooting from the inside at AI. I think there are players back there. So I'm going to put a pin in those two strongholds and I'm going to leave them to the players that I think are back there. There goes plan A. Well, what's plan B? Honestly, as I'm driving, I'm coming up with it. So I'm looking at the map, and I'm trying to decide, how am I going to leave? But then again, I can't leave, because I don't got enough money on me right now. I kind of want to get, you know, some better stuff before I go. You know what I'm saying? So once again, I'm trying to find a good exit point. Once again, um, observatory hostage rescue missions, no go. Don't even try it. We all know the observatory is crawling with AI. Don't even try it. Plan B is me going here. In a deployment that y'all didn't see, I was playing for my own enjoyment. This little office building across from the actual port itself has some really good stuff in it. Okay. Oh, look. A contract's down there in a cemetery. All right, here's plan B. Plan B is do the radioactive cash contract at the port because I already have a Geiger counter on me, so it'll be really easy. And then raid the stronghold, find me a three-play armor vest or um, a large backpack, and then exfil. 
using the contract at the cemetery. Seems simple, right? That's plan B. Let's see how that works out. into a dead drop for mission progress. Get it done. Ultra One, that intel confirms AQ has radioactive material in the area. We need to secure and extract that material. Locations are marked on your attack map. Ultra One, you're approaching the target area. Deploy Geiger counters to locate the material. If you're wondering what that stutter, what that, uh, the freaking objectives in the middle of my screen were, that was a glitch. Or a bug. One or two. But anyways, back to plan B. Okay, there's one thing I didn't tell y'all. I kind of want to clear up my backpack before I exfil. So, in other words, I want to sell everything. So, I'm going to do that real quick. And it's a good thing I did too, because I just bought a large backpack. Wonderful. Now the only thing left to do is to leave out of here alive. Remember when I said um, I was going to try to loot the stronghold and the port? Yeah, I decided I ain't had enough time. I don't got enough time. So, let me go ahead and hit up the rescue hostage contract in the cemetery. Hop in the LTV. And here we go. Right? Where's contract? Um, it's gone. Damn. Someone already took it. Okay. I guess plan C. Um, that other one near the hospital in the village is still available. But... Like I said, I watched the V-Dub stream, and I didn't like that contract. I didn't. So now I'm faced with a really tough decision. Do I go for that same contract that I don't like and seen V-Dub try, or do I try to go for regular exfil? Remember how I told y'all I got a plan B? Yeah, that plan B is already uh what's the word i'm looking for scrubbed because there's going to be a significant moment that i'm going to realize and you can and you can tell i realize it so boom i'm driving and i'm looking at the map right looking at the map trying to decide what to do next i'm thinking contract should i go for this contract should i but like i said I don't want to do that because it looks hard. It's in the wrong area. Then, I look at the map one more time and I realize I can't even take the second exit because I gotta drive past the radioactive zone in order to get to it. So, do I drive past it and risk my LTV being shut off? Or do I swim and risk being shot at by AI? Damn. Plan C. And C stands for crazy. Drive to the airport. Drive around in circles like a madman. 
to not get shot at by, you know, potential campers and try to leave that way. That's plan C. There we go. I'm out of there alive. Now what's crazy is that the radioactive zone was so close to that exfil in my contract. If I didn't make up my mind when I was at that gas station, I would have been dead due to radiation. So I'm happy with my decision. Was it risky? Oh yeah. It's in the middle of the open at the airport where there are like multiple towers and shit. So yes, I got lucky. But I got alive too, if that makes any sense. Now, I know I didn't get any kind of progress done on my faction missions, but honestly, the whole point of this deployment was to get me a large backpack or a three plate armor vest, or if I'm lucky, both. I'm going to leave my missions to whenever I'm in a squad, so hopefully that's coming up soon. But that's it for this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.